everybody what's going on happy sunday wherever you are all around the world thank you so much for being here it really means the world to me wow today is a beautiful day but cold i hope wherever you are it is beautiful as well and that you're enjoying your day as i always say in every one of my sunday videos which happen to be my weekly fragrance rotation and i believe this is weekly fragrance rotation number 15. And basically what I'm going to do is highlighting some winter fragrances, guys. I hope everything finds you well. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope everybody's safe and sound. So let's just go ahead and get started and jump right into the video. So this past Sunday, the first fragrance I wore was none other than Paco Rabanne's Pure XS. And it is a fragrance that I have worn quite a bit so far this winter and for good reason. It's a very, very nice vanilla scent, a little bit of an earthiness to it. It's nice and heavy and just cuts right through that cold. There's a nice freshness on the top. Let me go ahead and spray it and just remind myself how good this smells. <sighs> yeah, so really right away you get a nice burst of freshness. And then it just turns right into that very linear vanilla scent. But that vanilla is not so sweet, and they try to balance it out with a nice earthy feel to it. Man, this fragrance is really, really good, and you don't need a lot of sprays. This is really, really going to leave a nice scent trail, which it usually does, and it'll get you a lot of compliments, especially if you go to a church where there's a lot of elderly people. I also like to do my plasma donations you know, to help out, but also that helps my fragrance habit as well, and you tend to get a lot of compliments wearing this guy right here. It just cuts right through the cold. It projects, it performs, and it lasts about six to eight hours on my skin. And I really love how cool this bottle looks with the gradient black turning into that really light blue. So also, by the way, this bottle is really heavy. The cap looks like it would be heavy, but it's not. But the body is extremely heavy. Just a really great fragrance. And to me, the heaviness of the bottle just kind of tells you what kind of fragrance this is. A heavy winter fragrance. All right, guys keeping it going on monday we come into the monday blues i know you know you're trying to get your mind right on sunday here comes monday you're going into the work week excited maybe not so excited but you got to get things done and here it is this was the perfect fragrance for me to wear on monday it's none other than carolina herrera's ch man Privé. guys what a great fragrance, man. There is so much to say about this fragrance. It is so gorgeous. It is also kind of a heavy fragrance. It's a, got a nice leather accord. It's got a nice boozy accord. It's just really, really sensual and gorgeous. I love this fragrance through and through. I love how this bottle is shaped to look like a flask. The cap kind of hangs like that, and you can tell you're in for a boozy fragrance like this. I think this fragrance is absolutely fun and flirty and perfect for the date. But I also think this fragrance is awesome to wear at the office. You're really not going to offend anybody with this fragrance. It's just so, so good. It's just so refined and classic. And I don't know about you guys, but I think this one is blended really, really well. So another great fragrance to wear in the wintertime and perfect for the date, perfect for the office. Very versatile when it comes to being versatile in the winter. This fragrance is that, and you're going to get the compliments. I get about eight hours on my skin. Not bad for a designer fragrance. All right, guys, next fragrance I want to talk about. Just recently featured this fragrance on one of my recent tobacco video, and this is Azaro's The Most Wanted. Man, I love, love, love this fragrance. It is an amazing tobacco fragrance. Now, is it tobacco forward? No. Is this, a, if you're looking to get into some tobacco fragrances that are easy, aren't too hard, aren't too complicated, then this is a perfect fragrance to start with. Man, is it so fresh off the top. The opening is just really, really gorgeous. And there's a nice cinnamon note in this that is absolutely gorgeous. I love how this fragrance smells. My only problem with it is, is it just doesn't last long enough. I wish it lasted a little bit longer, but hey, that's okay. It's still a great fragrance. I get about four to six hours on my skin and the cinnamon and the fresh up top from the citruses and the nice tobacco note is just so good. You guys have got to try this. Now headed into Wednesday, and I thought I'd get this guy out, dust it off a little bit, and show you this one right here. This is what I wore for Wednesday. This is Givenchy's Pie. This fragrance is so good. You guys know on my channel how much I love gourmand fragrances. Man, this one is good. There's not a lot to say about this fragrance except for almonds and vanilla, 
What more do I need to say? A slight little booziness, guys. Man, is it so good. Oh, wow. Really, really, really like this one. I heard this was a favorite of Cristiano Ronaldo's. Don't know if that's true or not. That's just what I read. And this fragrance, guys, is so good because it had so much depth. I get about six hours on my skin, but man, is it such a gourmandish delight. If any of you are just stopping by for the first time, new to Fragcom and don't know what gourmandish means, it means any fragrance that you feel like it smells so good you want to eat it. And that's exactly how this one is. Rich, full of depth, nutty, and a sweetness coming from the vanilla. All right, guys. Now we come to Thursday, okay? Got my fragrance in. I was so excited, just like a bunch of you were. Everybody was waiting with a bated breath. Everybody was excited. Everybody was on pins and needles. They were checking out their door every five seconds for their UPS driver because they were all waiting for X. Signature Royal X by Zaharoff, guys. It finally came in. We all got excited. Look at that cool black cap. Look at how the X makes a triple X, guys. I just did a video on this. We can leave a link down below or we can leave a link at the end of the video so you can check out my video on this. But guys, the long-awaited, naughty, ever so scandalous, ever so sexy fragrance finally made it. And boy, it did not disappoint. Everything that Claude Dare and George Zaharoff touch is just absolutely magic. It's absolutely gold. It's money. It's a home run. Whatever adjective you want to talk about. And boy, is this fragrance naughty. It is so, so good, guys. Basically, all you need to know is there's a high concentration of oil in this one. There's a bit of freshness on the top, but that freshness quickly goes away, and you're just left with a nice, naughty, musky fragrance. Wow, is this sexual. Wow, are you going to get compliments. You are going to get noticed with this fragrance. And this works so well in the cold weather. But it does, I don't, I feel like it doesn't just work well in the cold. I feel like you can wear this any time you want to. Spring, summer, fall. If you're looking to have some fun, if you're looking to go on a date, I would wear this one. And when your body starts to heat up, your chemistry with one another is going to heat up as well. Because this fragrance is just that good. I'm telling you, it is a game changer, guys. I don't know if any of any of these are left on the Zaharoff website. If there's not, I hope he makes some soon because this is so, so good and you're going to want to get a hold of it when it comes out again if there aren't any left. So take my word, guys. Just smells so fresh and so musky. It's got a nice little dirtiness to it, a nice little naughty vibe. You're going to want to check this out. And if you want a bit more detail about this fragrance, check out my last review on it. All right, guys, that was Thursday. We're now coming to Friday, and I wanted another gourmand fragrance. I was enjoying pie so much, but I wanted something that smells like pie that had a lot more depth to it, that was a lot more richer, a lot thicker, and so I went with Stronger With You intensely. And guys, these are kind of similar. You can even tell with the color of juice, but this one right here, and you can tell, this one right here is just darker and thicker. And as the name says, more intense. It really is. You do not need a lot of sprays. You can probably get away with three sprays with this. If you go more than that, man, you're going to choke out everybody. This thing lasts eight plus hours on my skin, guys. Man, it is so good. There's a toffee note in here, which seems like everybody and their brother is using right now. But there's a toffee note. There's cinnamon. There's vanilla. There's a nutty accord in here. Man, is it so, so good. Let me spray it real quick. There's even just this nice booziness, almost smells like rum or cognac or something like that that I'm picking up in here. But either way, guys, it is so, so good. And man, does it really last. It's so powerful. And this is another one of those gourmandish fragrances. Smells so good, you want to eat it. I wore this fragrance and it lasted all day. I kept getting whiffs coming off my clothes and my skin. And it's been so cold here in South Carolina all week. This really, really worked well. All right, now, finally coming to Saturday. The, the filming of this, it is Saturday. I know I greeted you as if it were Sunday. But I wore this bad boy. I hadn't worn it in a while. Had to dust this one off. But it is none other than Spice Bomb. I've been wearing Extreme so much, I wanted to do something different. So I went with Spice Bomb Night Vision. And this is the EDP. 
This is the Parfum Concentrate. This one is a little bit smoother. It's not as rough around the edges as the original. I like this one a lot, guys. And there's so much going on. It's so good. There's an apple note in here. There's cardamom, a little bit of lavender to give it some freshness, a slight, slight hint of mint, and a pistachio note that's really cool as well. Let's go ahead and spray this fragrance. <sighs> yeah, guys, Spice Bomb knows what they're doing. I don't have a Spice Bomb fragrance that I own that I hate. I like them all. I like Night Vision, Infrared, um, the original Spice Bomb, Spice Bomb Extreme. Man, they're all so, so good. The only one I don't have is the Fresh. I have a decant of that from Chef Cants, and I like it as well, so I probably need to pick that one up to complete my collection. But guys, this is so good. If you don't have it, give it a try. I really, really love the green apple note in here mixed with the mint and the cardamom and the lavender. It's really, really good. It's really smooth and I really love this fragrance. I get about six to eight hours on my skin. It is really perfect for a day like today. So cold, sitting back, watching football, watching the playoffs. And what is everybody's fragrance of the day today on Sunday? I know what mine's going to be because I'm testing out a brand new fragrance. Today mine's going to be Mont Blanc Legend Red and I'm going to be doing a video real soon on that one. You can check that one out on Monday. All right, guys, thank you so much. Let me know your sense of the day. Let me know your rotations down in the comments below. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my fragrance journey. If you're brand new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notifications over to the side so the videos get into your feed. Helps the algorithm out, helps me out. Guys, I want you to be a part of my fragrance journey. I want you to be a part of my family. So come join me. Let's learn from one another and let's just have fun talking about fragrances. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, ciao.